Rich, uh, this is Joe Capes with uh, APC by Schneider Electric, and I am the director for our cooling line of business in the Americas. Uh, and recently, APC has announced EcoBreeze, which uh, is a, an interesting uh, product, uh, and you have some information for us on. Uh, maybe you could kind of give us an overview of what EcoBreeze is and, and how folks might use it. Sure. So, Rich, what I'd like to do is take you through a couple of slides on uh, how the product works and probably start off by saying that the reason why we developed the EcoBreeze offering was an upshot of the trend that's moving toward economization using economizer mode in the data center environment. And today we have uh, a lot of data center owners and operators that are considering two primary forms of economizer, one being air side and the other one being water side. I can take you through a few slides that talks about you know, why EcoBreeze takes sort of the best of both worlds and uh, architects it into a modular uh, solution that allows you a very, very flexible, efficient, and cost-effective way for deployment. Sure. Let's take a look. All right. So I think one of the biggest changes in the industry over the last two years has been uh, some of the revisions to the TC99 standards around the expanded envelope for recommended temperature and humidity. Right. Uh, a lot of folks are really familiar with these changes and have subsequently increased the supply air temperature to the uh, to the cold aisle. If you look at uh, an area like North America on this slide, really everything that you see in green or blue are areas of the country that uh, are, are really, really great for, uh, for cooling using economizer. The question is really how do we approach it, what's the best methodology, and what are the advantages or disadvantages. One of the things that um, we utilize as part of any type of economizer solution is the use of a heat containment approach. And with the heat containment approach, rather than using the entire uh, data center as the hot aisle, we use just the hot aisle itself for the containment strategy. So the hot IT air is sent uh, directly back to whatever type of cooling system is being used. So how does the uh, EcoBreeze system work? Well, what you see here is a, a fully configured system uh, with four individual bays that allow you to utilize up to eight individual models, mo uh, modules of 50 kilowatts of cooling capacity. So this configuration here provides up to 400 kilowatts of total cooling capacity. It has a return and a supply air duct. This is the return ducting up here. This is all prefabricated and modular. Okay. And, and it also has this supply duct area here at the bottom. And I'm gonna take you inside the product here in a minute to show you how the three different forms of, of uh, cooling actually work. You can use this approach in a data center that's either on raised floor or a data center that's uh, on a, um, a slab, so it does not have to be on, on raised floor. You can use it in either configuration. This is the module itself here that we're looking at, and if you look, um, starting with, with this area right here on the slide, the hot IT air from the data center is pulled into the EcoBreeze module and then is, is um, ported essentially across either an air-to-air -air heat exchange or an indirect evaporative cooling system. There's also a DX backup, so that a direct expansion backup right. or supplemental cooling system, so that um, as part of this entire module, you're not um, required to put in a separate uh, supplementary or backup cooling system. It's all integrated into one platform. This area uses outside air from outside of the data center, and we use um, uh, EC fans for high efficiency right. for, for, uh, for delivery of that outside scavenger air. And I'm going to take you inside these two different forms of cooling, both the indirect evaporative cooling and the air-to-air -air heat exchange. The net output of that is that the cool IT air is returned to the data center and any hot ambient air is rejected to the, to the outside environment. Okay. The real, um, I guess, magic, if you will, for this, this uh, indirect evaporative cooling system is an EPX polymer tube that we use. And this is a sensible dry cooling uh, evaporative approach and what it does is it actually takes the hot IT air from the data center, ports it through this uh, EPX polymer tube, and then uses um, a, a spray system to actually use evaporative cooling to reject the heat uh, outside the data center and supply cold air into the data center. 
The scavenger air from outside the data center is actually used for the evaporative cooling. So this is one of the types of modes of cooling in the EcoBreeze, again, an indirect evaporative cooling system that you would typically use when the outside air temperature uh, isn't low enough to do strictly air-to-air -air heat exchange, but at the same time when you don't want to be running your, your system in DX mode, which is a much less efficient mode of cooling. The um, key here is that using this approach, there's no um, mixing of the outside air with the data center itself. So there's no risk of partic particulate contamination or introduction of outside air to the data center uh, confines itself. Um, now, in terms of uh, uh, going back and forth between them, how does, how does all that work? Because obviously you've got a lot of options built into this. Right, so each of, the, um, each of the units that you see here on the screen have an individual control system. And uh, the modules are actually con configured in a redundant architecture. So you have a redundancy built throughout, but each individual EcoBreeze has its own control system that allows you to either use the uh, factory program presets or use user selectable presets for uh, how, the, how the system actually works. It really also will de depend on the environment where the system is installed and, and depending upon how aggressive you want to get with your, your uh, economizer use. Right. And, uh, and uh, these, are, these are designed to, to live outside the, the main data center facility? Or? Exactly, Rich. These are uh, typically mounted either on a concrete pad outside of the data center, or in some cases, um, if your roof actually has appropriate dunnage, you can also site them on the roof of the data center itself. Now, and, is it, and you mentioned before that, it, that it, you've got a, a number of options. Is it, you know, I, ideally uh, uh, would give you the opportunity working with a, uh, just a slab, or do you see people using this for the raised floor as well? So in a raised floor environment, typically you would, you would deliver the cold air to the cold aisle uh, using the raised floor as your air plenum. So you would deliver through your perf tiles just like you would in a, in a traditional legacy data center. If you're using this architecture on a slab, an on-raised floor, you would actually position an air diffuser uh, at, the, at the cold aisle row ends, and that's how you would actually deliver the air from the eco breeze to the cold aisle. Um, and so uh, when is, uh, is the product going to be available, and how can people find out more if they're interested? The product is going to be released uh, to sales on April 1st of 2011, so in just a couple of months. And um, if you need additional information, they should just contact um, APC by Schneider um, at 1-800-800-4APC. Okay. Listen, Joe, thanks so much for giving us a, a walk. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks, Rich.